I love Strictly for the glitter, for the glam, for the dancing. You know, it's, it's everything. You know, you're watching it at home, it's dark, quite dark outside, but in your living room, in your bedroom, it's lovely and bright. I have watched Strictly from the beginning and I've always seen myself on Strictly. I've always seen myself and when the opportunity was knocking on the door, I opened the door and I said, please, come in. It's real, guys, it's real. <laughs> Mate, what am I most looking forward to in Strictly? <laughs> oh no, oh no, the giggles are here. I love and adore the costumes. I just hope the costumes adore me and my hips, that's what I'm saying. But of course, I'm looking forward to seeing my um, dancing partner. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait. <sighs> I would be a very good student, that's what I would say. I think I'm more of a Latin kind of girl, you know? I love all of that. <laughs> but I'm interested in learning the ballroom as well, you know, the posture, you know, the placement of the hands. So if I'm out and about, I love anything Motown. I love anything like a little salsa thing going on. Do you know what I mean? I have been known to do my own aerobic class in a club. I like more upbeat than the slow jams, you know. When it comes on to Strictly contestants, of course, I'm going to be slightly biased, you know, with my good friend Jake. Snake hip wood, that's what I'm calling him now. And Scott Maslin. But Kelly Bright now, she was on last year, left very big shoes to fill, and I don't know. I'm only a size four.